Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest if it don't belong. Alright, we we got crazy stuff going on here already. Okay. Mm okay. We have the Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Oh, getting some really weird readings today here, guys. Um, so, whatever this is, uh, it has to do with the way you love and somebody watching you, somebody spying on you. Someone you may have walked away from. Perhaps this person is watching you um, glow up. They're watching you work on yourself, get the things that you want, get the things that you need. They're watching you walk away, Pisces. Most recent past, the Tower, Scorpio Energies, Lovers in the Ten of Cups. Flat out said no to somebody here, Pisces. Flat out said no. And I think, I think that Tower came tumbling down. You're still sitting in the Queen of Cups energy, so you're, you're still sitting in your power. Immediate future, the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the and the Empress. So I do feel like you're concentrating on your work, whatever that might be, Pisces. You're concentrating on 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 the things that are important to you in life. Your Empress energy, and perhaps you're doing, you know, standing in your integrity no matter what. Not taking the easy way out here. And I think that surprised somebody. It's, it shocked the crap out of them, Pisces. Because you're not looking for, like, um, you ain't chasing nothing. You ain't chasing nothing. You sitting there collecting yourself, checking yourself, revamping yourself. Look at this. Factors affecting the situation is that you the empress. I'm worth the schwang, baby. So whatever you schwanging, I do feel like there's some, there's somebody coming towards you, Pisces, uh, that uh, has more of an interest in you possibly than you have in them. King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Then we got the Empress here with Taurus and Libra. This is this is the energy that's coming on the other side of Venus retrograde. This King of Cups has been betrayed in some way, shape, or form. And there's an ending happening with them. Like I said, even if you don't see this, this is what's going on. Uh, in the outside influence, somebody's getting a new beginning, but they they might just have the that might be all they got, Pisces, to start with. Because we got we got Aries here, but this person has definitely been betrayed. Was it by you, Pisces? Or was it by someone else? I do feel like it might be an Aries. They were betrayed by an Aries. And and now they're looking at you like you all Queen of Cups and Empress and stuff. And Nine of Cups. So, fulfilling your own wishes there, Pisces.
trying to figure out what this is. Guys, I'm having a real hard time touching on shit today. That's why I'm going to just I'll just do more readings tomorrow. Because the, these readings are not making any sense to me at all. The Scorpio reading didn't make any sense to me. This, not, this isn't making any sense to me at all. And you know how I like to make sense of stuff. You know how I like to make it you know go along with everything now now by the time i do the the uh you know the uh advice it'll probably make sense but this is not making any sense to me right now we got a queen of pentacles and a five of cups somebody who is very disappointed that whatever this is did not work out for them <clears throat> Final outcome. Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. So this person's going to come in with some kind of offer. A magician. And it's going to stress you out, Pisces. Yeah, this is some kind of financial opportunity or financial offer. Something that may have disappointed you before, but I feel like you're going to have an aha moment on the full moon. Pisces full moon, very possible. And I'm not even here, guys. My bad. I should have fixed that. So I'm rocky, rocky. Um, Jack, let me pull this up on this. I hate to do this in the middle of my, my video, but let's do it anyway. Because I'm tired of it going. Alright. So, let's get the other deck. Let's get some more information here. I'm lost. Kind of interested, though. What is this? What is this, Spirit? What is this Queen of Cups? I feel like that's you, Pisces. Sitting there preserving something. Sitting there holding on to something. Could be just your love. You know it's it, it it's it's precious. It's precious, my precious. <laughs> you know whatever you got to offer here is precious, Pisces. We got the moon. There's the moon in Pisces. Six of Pentacles, eight of Pentacles. Whatever you're working on right now, Pisces, you are holding close to your chest, and you're not telling anybody. But it's going to be lucrative. Who is this person watching Pisces? Who is this person in the Page of Swords watching Pisces, holding up their sword, doing it? This could be you, you know? Doing your due diligence, doing your homework on something that interests you. Ten Pentacles, baby. Nope. This is somebody else watching you. Trying to hang on to you. Could be somebody. A rich somebody. Who's trying to hang on to you because of. Is my face not priceless at this minute? Because I'm not understanding. I, I'm, I'm really, really lost in these readings today. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Big ringing going on. Um, so, competition. Somebody sees a lot of other people as competition. So they're coming in because of the competition. Somebody who does want to take a leap of faith in your direction. But I think they're in the once bitten twice shy energy with whatever they were dealing with before. Yeah, somebody somebody's coming in and they're coming in hurt. Nine of wands to the to the emperor. This person has been burned. 
haven't we all? And don't let them put the responsibility on you, Pisces. We've done enough proving over the years. We don't have to prove ourselves to nobody. Nobody. But I almost feel like that's what this is. It's like a test. Because this person's been burned over money. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the truth about the Empress. Maybe it's not you the, that's the one doing their homework. Maybe somebody's doing their homework on you, Pisces, because look. Page of, page of Swords to the Empress again in the immediate future. And like I said, somebody's doing their homework. Somebody's looking into you, Pisces. This is Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Cold Hard Facts, and the Eight of Wands. Maybe the responsibilities that you have held up and done what you wish, as I wish, and not what other people wanted. Wow, some confusing energy today, guys. <laughs> like I said, there's a lot of money involved here. But somebody sees you as their perfect match, Pisces. They see you as a strong leader. And they are as well. Aries energy. Pisces, you might be having a little bit of money problems right now. Waiting on paycheck or waiting on something to pan out for you. Got Gemini energy. Yeah. I feel like you're waiting on something so you can move forward. When you get this... When you get this, whatever this, it looks like an investment. Like somebody's going to invest in you, Pisces. Like you don't have enough to do whatever this is by yourself. So this emperor is going to come in and invest in you. Because they love you, Pisces. Could be coming for a visit. Ta-da! King of Wands and the Four of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. So we got a divine pair here. The, it, we have the Emperor and the Empress and the King and Queen of Wands. But I feel like I feel like both of you are guarded. Super, super guarded due to relationships of the past. If this is not relationships, this is a job. I do feel like there's going to be travel involved. And Pisces, you got a choice to make. Don't we always? Got a Nine of Wands, a Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, and a Death card here. So you could very well be dealing with, with a Scorpio. Pisces, you've let go of all the past bullshit here. You've had the strength to endure quite a bit of pain. Boy, do I know that. What is this Nine of Swords about as the final outcome, Spirit? I don't think you want to make this choice, Pisces, whatever it might be. Yeah. Oh, 
goodness, guinea, guinea, guinea. Two of swords, five of cups, ten of swords. You are not sure what to do with this. Oh. Oh. All right. So. You may not have to worry about money anymore. But you may have to end something. Something that you're emotionally attached to. Nine of Swords, Two of Swords. And you're not sure if you want to let it go or not. You love whatever this is. Look at all this. Capricorn. Virgo. So this is all going to culminate around the full moon, Pisces. And I can't make up your mind for you. I can tell you the energies that will be available to you. You can choose to end whatever this is or continue on. But you're going to be brought to a place of a choice. And the choice isn't going to be an easy one. Ace of Cups. Um... This does feel like the two wolves energy. Whichever one you feed will be the one that wins, Pisces. Whichever one you choose to feed. So like I said, this is going to all culminate around the full moon. And I'm feeling escapism here. So, you know, like trying to get away from having to make this decision. But it's not going to be, there's not going to be any way... To not make it because it's the 10. You're going to have to make the decision either to end this, which will make you sad, or to end something else, which will also make you sad. Why can't we just all get along here? Why can't we all just get along? I don't feel like this is a fight, though. I feel like you, whoever you're dealing with here, you're both standing in your integrity. But there's going to be something that you're going to have to give up in order for this to occur or to happen or to keep moving forward. And it's not something you want to give up, Pisces. Ten of Be careful. Be careful. Distant horizons, main male adjudication, marriage, and change. Whew. Wow. All right, Pisces. Um... Either you're going to be getting out of a marriage or you're going to be getting into a marriage. 303. Three, 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 six, three, three, oh. Like I said... Distant Horizons tells me that somebody is at a distance from you or, you know, 
there's travel involved as far as you and someone else is concerned it is a divine pair uh, somebody going to be let off the hook in a marriage or, or are they going to be uh, getting married because this feels like this feels like something legal and it's going to be a huge change for you maybe it's going to be a little too much too soon too fast type energy that's why the nine of swords two of swords five of cups ten of swords because I don't, I don't think you're ready to make this decision, Pisces. I don't think you're ready to make this decision. And you may have to stop something before it gets off the ground. Whoever this person is, they've got pull. They've got some kind of financial pull. If you're dealing with any kind of hardships right now, Pisces, they will be over. But you have to you, Like I said, I don't know what what is what is this that you've got to give up? Spirit, give me some advice here. What is this? The Pisces has got to give up. Look, hangman. Spirit's not no, he's not answering me. Ace of Cups. A brand new beginning in love. Pisces energy. Growth. Work. And reviving something. So maybe this is this is gonna be a choice between your work and a relationship. Somebody's being very strategic about how they're playing this Pisces. I don't think you like it. I think I think it it, it it bothers you. Maybe on some there's something that's been hidden from you, kept from you, and you've been betrayed over. I can't I can't make that up. Many options, decisions, one night stand. Be careful. I don't know who this person is, Pisces, but I do see you making healthier choices, getting the clarity you need about this person who likes you. You will receive what you need. You will grow and, and, and get what you need. But there's going to be some closure issues on a situation, on another situation that isn't going to make you very happy. It's, a, I mean, it's, it's going to be a difficult close out to an old situation and something new that's coming in that's a lot healthier for you you're going to get clarity on it you're going to be clear about what decision you make here whether that be ending whatever this opportunity or this person is bringing to to you or another situation that you are ending due to this new opportunity or this new person Because I do feel like there's new happening here. Alright. So we got the wise woman of Wonderland. Integrity and compromise in reverse. And the spirit whisper in reverse. Like I said. Be careful with this Pisces. Because I'm feeling like somebody ain't being quite. On the up and up with you about what their intentions are here and and you need to really really pay attention and get clarity on it before you make any decisions and i see that at the end of this reading that you're not ready to decide because you're not clear about what this person's intentions are so you're not even ready to decide about what you want to do what you want to grow because you are not sure what this person's intention is because this is in reverse. This is a challenger. When the wise woman of Wonderland appears as your challenger, this is a sign that you may have compromised yourself out of fear. Have you been in denial about the truth of your situation? Have you sold yourself short rather than ask for what you really need? Have you given up your dream for another because you fear abandonment? 
the wise woman of Wonderland gently reminding you that you count. Claim your good and never settle for less. Be fearless and make it so. Why hang around for more disappointment when wonderful adventures and opportunities are waiting to unfold for you? So, like I said, there's a huge shift, a huge change taking place in your life here. And I think you already know about it. I think you've already got a really good idea what this is. But you're not sure whether you want to make this decision or not yet. And I, I understand. I understand this is a huge decision. It's, it's really a big decision. And this is divine guidance and higher knowing in reverse. It says the spirit whisperer warns that you're about to go astray and you need her guidance. Red flags are waving and you must pay attention lest you find yourself cleaning up messes you didn't even know you made. She challenges you to start again and trust your intuition. In time, you will be back on track. On this occasion, you can't possibly go wrong since you're that much more aware of the possible challenges you need to step away from. If this is about a relationship, you may be repeating something in your past that you don't need to relearn. Stay away as this may end up being costly distraction. That said, lessons learned over and over make for great wisdom, but Pisces, you don't need to learn this again. You don't need to learn this again. You will get what you need. You will keep moving. But in the meantime, I feel like you got some shyster here trying to marry you off because they think you're going to be worth millions or something. You know, and, and I don't know what all that means. But there are, you know, don't compromise yourself out of fear or abandonment issues. Don't compromise with that. Don't compromise your values to just be with somebody who, pro who promises, you the, promises the moon and stars and never delivers, Pisces. Do not repeat a cycle that you have closed out long ago. All right? Well, those are your messages, my baby sharks. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye for now.